Hey, welcome to another science masterclass. Today we're going to learn about surface area to volume ratio. My name is Mr. Salagaris. This is part of my year eight science biology course. We're going to learn about why a cell is so small, what is surface area to volume ratio, and how do I calculate surface area to volume ratio. Okay, cells are so small because it has to do with the exchange or movement of substances in and out of a cell. Okay, so the movement or exchange of substances in and out of a cell, things like gases, liquids, um, and nutrients. Okay, it's important for that movement to occur very effectively and very efficiently uh, for that cell to work properly. Okay. The cell surface, so imagine that this here is a cell, the surface of this object is called the membrane. That's where that exchange occurs, that movement. So this membrane has a surface area. So the area is just the amount of space on the external uh, surface of an object. Okay, You can measure that using units squared, so something like centimeters squared. I'll talk to you a bit more about how to calculate that later on. So a cell needs a really high rate of gas exchange, so that's why they need a really large surface area. The space inside of a cell is called the volume. Okay, so the space inside is the volume. Volume we measure in units cubed, so things like centimeters cubed. So as you increase the size of a cell, the volume also increases. So say I've got a, uh, two flasks here, a red and a blue one. As I increase the size from a blue to a red one, the amount of volume inside increases. Okay, we can use the surface area to volume ratio, or SA uh, colon V, just like this here, uh, to compare uh, values between different objects. Okay, Cells want to have a really high surface area to volume ratio for them to function effectively and efficiently, so working at their best. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you now about how to calculate that surface area to volume ratio. 